Hello YouTube, Tim here at the stove with something that's definitely not PVC. This is a product that I've sort of been turned on to by sites like Lifehacker called Instamorph. If you want to make something out of plastic, this is a pretty good place to start. So you heat your water to 140 degrees. It's pouring in the plastic. It should basically melt. The stuff melts at about 140. So give it about, what did they say, a minute, two minutes? Yeah, I mean, look at the steps. How's that for easy? Heat, pour, wait, remove, shape, create. And that's the cool part. This really should be simple, simple, simple stuff. I don't think I'll have to have any additional heat, but we'll see. I've never done this before. I'm a little anxious. The idea is it should all glom together and then I should be able to pull it out. What's the point? I mean, why am I doing this? Well, this is a beautiful thumb ring made by uh, one of my friends in Turkey. It's beautiful. He's using an acrylic a method to cast it. And it's a really good technique, I gotta say. But... I don't necessarily have the necessary skills or materials to do that, at least not right at this moment. I'm going to try. I, I certainly will try, but for the moment, I'm looking for other ways to do things. This is one of those other ways. I'm going to use the Instamorph. I'm going to attempt to make a good old-fashioned thumb ring. That's really all there is to it. So let's just make sure the water is circulating. It is getting extremely translucent around the edges. I did turn the heat on underneath it. And so if it wasn't already warm, it should be warm enough momentarily. From what I read, you have about anywhere between 30 seconds and you know, two, three minutes to work with the material. I'm really not at all clear on that, but the stuff seems fairly, fairly harmless, fairly pleasant, and I'm looking forward to, to at least attempting to make a thumb ring that's half as nice. Okay, we're up to 143, so I will turn off the temperature again, back where we started. Sorry about moving you guys around, I really wasn't expecting to have to. Okay, this looks great. Yep, there it is. Just like they said. Pull it all out. It all kind of sticks together. I'm wearing gloves. I don't think that's at all necessary, but... Ooh, that might actually be a disadvantage. Okay, off with the gloves. My fear was that I'd burn myself horribly, and I don't like that idea too much. Oh, this stuff is cool. It is just like Play-Doh. Wet, squishy, plasticky Play-Doh. Nifty. Okay, so, let's try and get the right basic shape of the thumb ring. Okay, that's a pretty good size. I'm just going to poke a hole in the bottom, see if I can. Wow, okay, this is not the way to do it. <laughs> this is a bad way to uh, manipulate the, soup, the uh, Instamorph. Look at that. This stuff is really, really cool, I will say that. I'm going to put it back in the hot water and give it another try. I'm going to keep on screwing around with this stuff and see if I can eventually shape it into something useful. The cool part is after it hardens, it's machinable. You can go ahead and you can hit it with a heat gun to soften it. You can drill it, tap it, do all sorts of cool stuff to it. So there's a lot of flexibility here, and I'm looking forward to using it as a material, just in general. I'll try and get something back, and I will try and show you guys some cool stuff. So thanks for watching. Hello, YouTube. Here we are back again. This was my template so to speak. This is the product. The hole is a little bit different, a little bit more suited to my thumb. 
and all I did was made a rope, wrap it around my finger, heated it up with a heat gun until I could shape it again. And then I just pinched out the back so you can you can uh, slip it on sideways, rotate it, and that's not coming off. Feels very good. You might even be able to use one made out of Instamorph. Ultimately, my goal is to cast it out of acrylic, but I didn't have any suitable medium to do that in. While it's still a little bit warm, you can go back and trim off areas that are a little bit too thick, stuff like that. Or you could simply reheat it and continue shaping it. See, the longer I wait, the more opaque it gets, till it's fully, fully hardened and opaque. It's still a little warm, so I'm not certainly not going to try using it. And all the little scraps like so that I end up with just go right back into the bin to be melted down for next time. I had a few big lumps because I wasn't sure how much I was going to use. You saw how much I actually put in. It was excessive. But I took all those uh, pieces that were left over and I just chopped them right back up. Let's see if we can get a look in there. There you go. So I think this is going to be fairly successful. Now I need to go and shape it. I think it's too long. I think it uh, could definitely use a little cutting down. But on the whole, so far so good, right? Not a bad way to make a quick and easy Turkish style thumb ring. Thanks for watching.